Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Been a while since I've done a pre-recorded video. Um, I'm recording this near the end of October. I meant to do this earlier, but you know, when I had moved last year, everything was kind of in disarray. Um, so this is going to be a finished pages video for this book, which is Color and Beauty's Gorgeous Fantasy Grayscale Coloring Book by Daria Kakrasoy. This is number four in the book series. So this is one of my top ten. I did finish it on 624.23. I wrote when I had finished it. So um, this is what I am coloring. So um, this is what we're going to flip through today. So as you can see, this is one of the more beautiful books. It is a grayscale and I colored this with markers primarily. So you guys can tell that I colored this with markers. Sometimes I did my Copic, sometimes I did other markers, so you can always tell a nice juicy marker by the back of the book. So I colored every page in this. I was really happy with this page, with these pages. So this one was Peony. You know, over the time I've basically used Copics, budget-friendly markers, some gel pens, mostly my colorits or whatever I have, like maybe a Pentel different thing so this one I call it pretty in pink and purple so you know when I when I do it I always am in a mood to do it but I can't remember everything I did but I think I was trying to do blue and red as combos and then some greens oh so this was an elf so I tried to do a red-headed elf so I hope you guys enjoy this as you can tell, this was anything that yellowed on the page was from the previous marker and that's how I can tell that they were the budget markers because when you use budget friendly markers they sometimes yellow even if you put a paper in between. I don't know why it does that. Some markers, not all. Um, it also depends on the paper I have found. So, And I am keeping this one. So this one was just my fun one. I'm a fairy. I just thought it was fun. And then I did her in jeans. I thought it would be fun to do just different colors and see how they came out. This purple was an accident. I actually meant to grab a uh, pink color and I accidentally grabbed the purple and I liked how the purple matched the pink in a way. So it was meant to be pink, but this one was fun to do. Uh, I think I did this one in Copics because I can tell the blending in it because I did a little blending. I remember that. I think this was a challenge pick to do it in reds, to do a red-headed girl. This is one of my more favorite ones that I did. This is a Japanese beauty, so I was trying to do it in colors that matched it. I like that I picked the orange instead of doing it in a blue or purple, because I always seem to do it in blue, purple, gray, or black, but I thought doing it in an orange background would actually do really well. This one was really nice, but what happened was um, what I, the blue I had originally used for this had run out, so I needed, to, so I did it in a darker blue. I think I had done in the original color blue in a budget friendly, but then I ran out of that budget friendly marker, so then I had a darker blue in my Copic, so I used the darker blue to finish it and then go over it. This one I did color the fairy's hair is different colors. I actually, yeah, I forget this, what color this was, but this wasn't my Copics because I don't have this color in my Copics. I, I have it in a budget friendly marker. I remember that. Not everything required a background. This one was fun. I actually intended to make it a different color, but then I said, you know what, I'll leave it the color it is. Because I just thought it was different than everything else. This one I, was a weird one. I kept working on it. You know when you stop, work, stop, finish. That was the one that I stopped and I finished. This one I just wanted very soft colors and I instead didn't like how light the skin was so I went over it. And then that turned into a mess and then I kind of, because the markers kind of smeared on this one, I used the colored pencil over the markers to blend it in to make the skin correct. Same thing for this blue. I do use a colored pencil to fix the, the marker streaks a little bit. You can do that as long as it's still wet enough on the paper. So keep that in mind, you can do that. I think I was doing something for a tropical scene, so I did that one. 
This one was fun. I actually wanted it to be yellow and orange and then um, I wanted something to make the yellow and orange pop out and this is the only color I could think of that wouldn't um, that wouldn't um, clash. This one was fun. This was just try to do the colors the way you could do them. This one was actually fun. A lot of you liked this one when you saw it on Instagram. It was one of my favorite ones that I ever did in this book. This one I wasn't thrilled with the way this one came out. You know, it was funny because the markers kept running out on her hair for some weird reason no matter what brown I used. It wouldn't um, work on this, so. And then I had fixed it with my Copics and a colored pencil. This one was fun. I wanted basically blue, purples, and greens in it. I remember doing a Mandela with these colors too, so that's probably why I was doing a Mandela in another book and then I used the same color pattern in this one that I used in a Mandela. I was trying to do a, uh, try to do something from um, Carnival. This is what this girl reminds me of, those people who dress up for Carnival. And they're really nice and the head pieces are really nice. So that was what I was thinking when I did this. This girl, I, I swear to God, looked like a young Deidre Hall. When I saw that picture, I thought Deidre Hall as a young woman from Days of Our Lives. If you, uh, Deidre Hall plays uh, Molina Evans or Dr. Molina Evans. I forget how many times she's been married, but she's been married quite a few times on the soaps. So. so that was what I did on that one. That was what that one looked like when it was gray to me. Now, I can tell I used cheap markers on this because look what happened. It yellowed here. So, and I decided not to do that, but it's okay. Same thing for this one when I used this one because it yellowed on this page. So I had to cover up. It actually yellowed a lot more, so I was able to cover up a lot of the yellows. Now, I should have done a background, but I didn't feel like doing a background. So see on this one it didn't yellow. The yellow didn't carry over to this one which was the last page in this book. So I'm going to just do this like this so you guys can see how this looks. So that's that one so as you can see in the back. And then they give you all the th things that you can use in the book. So then you, they give you... Uh, you could use the lap. I know a lot of people do this with their books, but I, I don't always do it. But some people use it as a tester page for back page. That's fine if you do that with your books. So, and this is the back page of the book. So that is my finished flip through of this book. And this was finished on 624.23. So I just want to give you guys a look at this book. So everybody has, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay well. And also... Um, remember, if you purchase this book through my link, I am an Amazon affiliate and I make a small commission back and that commission goes right back to fund the channel for new books and etc. So everybody stay safe and healthy. Bye everybody.